Hello friends, I am Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. How do you handle temptation, especially temptation to sin? Have you ever felt pressure building up from within your own evil desires to sin? Have you ever felt pressure and temptation coming from somewhere else? Today we look at Genesis chapter 39 verses 1 through 20 and the story of Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Now Potiphar was the captain of the guard for uh, Pharaoh who was the king of Egypt. Potiphar bought Joseph from the slave traders and because through the Lord Joseph was successful in everything, he was entrusted with Potiphar's everything. Potiphar made Joseph his personal attendant and he was placed in charge of everything that Potiphar owned. His household, his property, his everything. But then the temptation came in the form of a woman. Potiphar's own wife thought that Joseph was sexy and hot and she wanted Joseph to have sex with her. So Joseph refused. But every day she kept putting pressure on him. He tried to avoid being around her at all, but one day they were alone. She grabbed him by the cloak and demanded that she sleep with him. Joseph refused. He hightailed it out of the room and he left behind his cloak that she had ripped from his own body. She accused Joseph of trying to rape her and Joseph spent the next several years in prison. He was thrown in prison. He was imprisoned because he refused to have sex. Now, I don't know what type of temptations you face on a daily basis. But for Joseph, day after day, he was tempted to have sex with a woman who was not his wife. Day after day, Joseph refused to entertain the thoughts about sleeping with Potiphar's wife. Sometimes doing the right thing is difficult. Sometimes doing the right thing hurts. Joseph was in prison for refusing to give in to temptation. Now, I'm encouraged by the actions of Joseph, and I hope that you are too. Today, when temptations come your way, remind yourself of the promise from 1 Corinthians 10 13 that says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man. But God is faithful, and He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. And when you are tempted, He will provide a way out. So here's the deal. When you experience temptation, God allows that temptation in your life because he knows that you can resist it. So stay strong. You can resist temptation. Turn to God for help. He promises to help us. He promises to help us remain faithful to him. And he promises to help us stand firm. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, and share it on social media. God bless.